This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I am Lucy Adeyemi. Cameroon has arrested four soldiers suspected of shooting dead two women and two children in the country's far north where its army is battling Boko Haram. Security sources said a video of the incident, which has gone viral, has provoked international outcry. A government spokesman initially described the footage as fake news and said the men in the footage, who were wearing military fatigues, did not appear to be Cameroonian soldiers, but said the government would open an investigation. An army officer in Cameroon's far north region near the border with Nigeria says four soldiers suspected of being the authors of the executions in the video were arrested on Sunday. A security source said three of the soldiers had been transferred to the capital Yaoundé while the fourth was still being held in Maroa, capital of the far north. Amnesty International said last week that it had gathered credible evidence that the men in the video were indeed Cameroonian soldiers based on an analysis of their weapons, speech and uniforms. South Sudan's President Salva Kiir says he's ready to accept a peace deal to end a civil war and set, set up an inclusive new government. The deal being negotiated will give the country five vice presidents and also cover security and power sharing. Kiir said at a swearing-in ceremony for his foreign minister, the people of South Sudan are looking for peace and if that ar arrangement can bring about peace to the people of South Sudan, he's ready to take it. South Sudan erupted in conflict five years ago because of a dispute between Kier and his former vice president, Rek Macho. Tens of thousands have been killed while a quarter of the population has fled their homes and the oil-dependent economy has been wrecked. A 2015 peace deal briefly halted the fighting, but it fell apart after Macho returned to the capital the following year. We will be back after this short break. percent bonus for reactivating your MTN SIM. That's right. If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. Banjo has condemned on Thursday former President Yaya Jame's leaked call that went viral on social media in which he pledged to return to the West African country. In the leaked tape, Jama said, neither man nor spirit can stop him from returning to the Gambia. The current government has called the comments shocking and subversive. It said that in light of Jama's recall of state orchestrated disappearances, kidnapping, murders, it would act accordingly and decisively. The government said in a statement, the leaked tape revealed in significant detail, the former president's desperate efforts to stay politically relevant in the Gambia, even as his trial of terror and economic crimes are being collated for potential criminal prosecution. Jamez, 22 year rule was marked by numerous human rights violations. He lost the presidential election in December 2016 to then opposition leader Ab Adama Baro, who went and went into exile in Equatorial Guinea in January last year, when armed intervention he helped end his rule. There have been numerous calls for Jami to be returned to his native country to be prosecuted for the alleged human rights abuses, including the killing and torture of opponents. That's the NN News Brief. Thanks for listening. For details and updates on these and other stories, visit our website, nnafrica.net. Follow the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV on Twitter at TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Good morning.